Here we have a standard inch ruler. It's a 12 inch ruler and we're going to look on how it works. Here we have zero, the zero mark, and here we have a one inch mark and a two inch mark, three, four, five, six, and so on. The two line and the three line and the four line and the one line, the, the whole numbers are the longest ruler lines here is lines. The next length, divide these two directly in half. So this is referred to as the half mark. So if we have a, a whole line here and here, then this is going to be the one half mark, halfway. It doesn't matter where they are. They could be between these guys and this line here is still going to be the halfway line. So we've got, well, in this case, two and a half inches, three inches, three and a half inches, four inches, and one inch and zero, obviously. Between the whole number and the half number, if we divide that in half again, let's say we take one half and we divide that in half, divided by two equals one quarter. There are two quarters in a half, just like there are two quarters in half a dollar. So in between here, this is a quarter line. And you'll see that these are a little bit shorter than the half inch line. So we've got one quarter and then two quarters because a half is two quarters. Here's three quarters and the whole would be four quarters. So here we have one quarter, here we have two quarters, here we have three quarters, and then here we have four quarters, which of course makes a whole. Let's move over here, get a little closer, and we'll look at the lines between the four and the five. So, there are the whole numbers. We already know we have a half there, and we've got our quarters here. In between those, we've got these even smaller lines. So here's the half is the longest, quarter, and this one here between the, the quarter, that's an eighth, because there are eight parts in between here. Just like in the quarters, we had one, two, three, four quarters. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth eight eighths. So this one here is one eighth. And then we have a quarter, which could also be two eighths. Then we have here three eighths. This is where my handwriting gets sloppy. Here we have four eighths for the half. So four eighths. Here we have five eighths and six eighths, which is also three quarters. And then here we have seven eighths. And then of course down here we have the eight over eight, which of course equals one. So now we're going to get even more detail. Let's do it between the six and the seven. So we have the eighths. In between those are the sixteenths because there are 16 of the tiniest lines here between the six and the seven. So we have one sixteen, two, then we have three, and we read it like this, three over one six, um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's nine sixteenths. I'm skipping them because they're so small to write, but that's nine sixteenths right there, which is just over the eight sixteenths, which is just over two fourths. I skipped the eighths. 
four eighths. Four eighths and one half. Well, I got confused there. I'll I'll catch up. So there's nine sixteenths, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen sixteenths, and so forth until we get, let's see, 13, 14, 15, 16, sixteenths. So all these numbers mean the same thing when you get to the 8, 16, 2, 2 over 4, 2 quarters, 4 eighths, or 1 half. Those all mean the same thing. But when you get in between them, when they're an odd number, you have to use the whole thing. So when they're odd numbers, you can't reduce them. When they're even numbers, you can. Now let's look at this other end of the cell. So yeah. here we are dealing with the 30 seconds. There are 32 little spaces between the zero and the one inch here. Uh, we have zero here, so there at the beginning. We've got the one inch over here. And of course we have our half inch. And we've got our quarters and our eighths and our sixteenths. So these tiny little guys here are 30 seconds. So this is a 1 32nd, 1 32. And in here, the half inch one would be 8, would be 16 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Um, so if we want to measure, let's say we want to measure, let's measure a line that is 1 inch and 5 30 seconds. Well, since there's no 30 seconds over here, we're not going to start from 0 to 1 and then 30 seconds. We'd have to estimate. We're going to start from the 2 and go backwards. So from 2 to 1, that's 1 inch. So we'll start here. And what did I say? 5 30 seconds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 30 seconds. So we want to go there and draw a line that is 1 inch plus the 5 30 seconds. If you want to add another 5 30 seconds, we could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which goes to right here, which is 10 30 seconds. Okay, so 10 30 seconds, if we divide 10 30 seconds in half, we'd end up with 5 sixteenths. So if we look at this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sixteenths. So that works out the same. So that's how you use the 30 second marks within the front inch. Now there are some rulers that if you're working in with a ruler that has all of them because you're doing a lot of precise work, you might have that. But this ruler here is a relatively generic ruler, so it's only in the first inch, and that's how you need to deal with it. So Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. It helps us a lot uh, in our outreach. And let us know what else you'd like to learn. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.